Hi, my name is Mrs. Kump, Junis Kump, and I came to Integrative Medicine uh, a few months ago after reading an article in the Star Banner newspaper about this machine that they had called a rebuilder for neuropathy. And I've had neuropathy since 1998 and was diagnosed with it. And it was very mild for many years, but it was kind of a nuisance having it, but it wasn't a painful thing that I, uh, two neurologists in South Florida, when I was still a nurse and living down there, wanted to put me on a medication called Neurontin. And I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. It just makes you groggy. And I had too much to do as a nurse, working every day, to want to do like my patients on Neurontin did and lay around and sleep half the time. So I never took a medication. And uh, it started out really with when I would get home in the afternoon uh, from work, I'd sit at the dining room table or wherever and do paperwork. This as a nurse back then, you did a lot of paperwork. And um, anyway, I worked for multiple home health agencies and different hospitals, saw patients, special patients. I was a, an ostomy nurse, an enterostomal therapist. So I was seeing patients wherever doctors sent me and uh, traveling around all day, but I would come home and then have to do all the paperwork for all the different agencies and whatever. And uh, my legs didn't bother me then. They didn't bother me when I was walking all day. But as soon as I would sit down to relax later in, in the evening, put my feet up or just sit in a rocking chair or whatever, they would just start to like tingle and go to sleep. My legs would just go to sleep. And anyway, I, eventually I went to one of the neurologists that I knew for years down there from when I worked at the hospital years before. And he diagnosed it. He did a nerve conduction study, diagnosed it with a mild neuropathy, and said that it, uh, it may continue to get worse. Come back if it does, and then we'll talk about further treatment. But it was still several years before it really got bad enough to do. But anyway, then we decided to move up to this part of Florida after we retired in 2000. I retired in 2002, early in the year. My husband had already retired, and so we were going to move up here. And uh, so I retired, and, and uh, before I came up, I went to the Cleveland Clinic down there in Fort Lauderdale. And I had seen many of their patients, too, for the specialists there. And so I went to the neurologist at Cleveland Clinic, and she did a much more serious uh, nerve conduction study that was really painful and diagnosed it as a deep tissue neuropathy and cause unknown because I'm not a diabetic. It wasn't then, still I'm not. And, uh, but it just continued to get um, a little bit more tingling in my feet every time I sat down and um, still walking and all seemed fine. But then I started having uh, foot and leg cramps and it, they just got worse and worse and worse over the years. And nobody had any idea what to do or you know, talking to a couple of friends, doctor friends, and they said, I, I don't know what you would do for something like that, but maybe eventually they'll just kind of go away. They didn't. And so eventually I read an article by Susie Cohen, the pharmacist that's in the paper every week, and she was recommending for people with leg and foot cramps to try using mustard, just yellow mustard, because it has curcumin in it. And that works on this. So I thought, well, that sounds simple enough. So I started a, a tablespoon of mustard in the morning and one in the evening before dinner. My family thought I was crazy that I could eat that much. but. And I did for several years until it started really irritating my throat. Ended up going to an EMT doctor, and he said, I think it's the mustard that's causing the redness and the irritation. And the, I was kind of had a hoarse throat all the time, and uh, sent me for some different tests, barium swallow and things. And, and anyway, so he recommended that I just stop it for a while. So then she wrote another article in the paper, and it was to instead of just taking mustard, take turmeric capsules. 
So I went to the health food store and got turmeric capsules, and I started taking them, and they worked as well as the mustard. It stopped the cramps pretty much all the time. Because hmm. I, I was having them several times during the day, and at night i just barrel out of bed when one would start in my foot or my leg and get up and walk it. I could walk it off. But uh, they bothered me so much at night. And uh, eventually the neuropathy started really causing a burning in my feet and ankles. And it seemed like nothing was going to stop that. It just got worse and worse and worse and the mild. And I thought, maybe I ought to go on Neurontin. And I thought, no, I'm, I'm just not going to do that. So anyway, then I read this article on the Rebuilder that you have here. And I thought, well, let's make an appointment. So I made the appointment, and I came in. And all of it, I started on it. And uh, you know, gradually worked up to a half hour twice a day, and uh, it just absolutely has stopped the burning in my feet. It's just been a, a miracle. It's just been wonderful, and right now it's just been so great seeing Dr. Walker, and he's done treatments on my back. And they found I have a stenosis in my lower spine that they feel is what is actually causing. The neuropathy. And a few years ago, I had a problem with my my uh, hip, and I was down in uh, western Tampa near my brother's house, and I made an appointment with a doctor down there, and they did a um, MRI of my back, and sent me to their back surgeon, and I didn't have. He said there was nothing there to need any surgery on. But he said that stenosis in your lower spine is probably what's causing this neuropathy. But he didn't recommend anything to do for the neuropathy. And, but I never went back down then to them. And uh, they did inject my hip. And that took, it was like a, uh, what is it you get in your hips that bother? Anyway, I've had it in my back, in my shoulders, and back of my neck and whatever, you know, way up here. And uh, Dr. Sanchetta has been uh, injecting. There's little injections in there, and it, he has taken that away completely. So the stenosis is still there, but the rebuilder has just stopped the burning and all. And it's just been wonderful to be able to sit down and read in the evening and not have my feet burning off of me. <laughs> so it's just been wonderful.